Hi, I just wanted to get on here to share an event that happened yesterday on here on YouTube with Furry Potato. She had her camera and tripod equipment stolen from her off from a public sidewalk facing a defense contractor's building. A person, name unknown, came out and had dialogue with her and proceeded to steal the property while she kept telling him, don't take my property, it's, it's mine, don't steal it. And he took it anyways. The video um, has been downloaded onto Furry Potatoes channel and I will include it in the description box. But it brought up a good um, learning experience for me for definitions of word. And when incidents like this happens, when um, actions flowing by and uh, potentially uh, a first minute auditor or a cop watcher or anybody for that matter um, needs some extra help and we get on there and we try to gather the information and then we do a redress of grievances to the government agency or the person or the business and I just wanted to talk some more about it so that um, I can share the information um, that I've learned for using correct verbiage and how we should talk about things we do have the right of under the US Constitution Amendment 1 redress of grievances Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. So when an incident occurs and um, we either see it live or on a video or in person or whatever, we have a First Amendment right to contact government agencies for redress of grievances. And I went even further and looked it up in the dictionary to make sure I understood what redress of grievances meant. Redress is, a, is to set right, remedy, look to charity, not to legislation, to redress social wrongs. Two, to make up for, to compensate, or to remove the cause of a grievance or complaint, or to exact reparation for. It also is redress of grievances means resolution to problems or complaints. Redress means resolution. Grievances are complaints. The right to petition for redress of grievances means the right to ask to have problems solved. The right to petition the government for redress of grievances means the right to ask a government body to solve a problem. So when we are contacting these government agencies either face to face um, through the mail whether it's snail mail or email or via the telephone we're asking for redress we're asking for a problem to be solved something that we find upsetting or disturbing or see an issue with it um, so those calls that you may choose to make to the government agencies or other entities are redress of grievances. They should be called no other name uh, without getting into a lot of legal mumbo jumbo. There has been issues in the past where there has been live streams or even videos going on where the viewers wanted to have redress of grievances 
and use other words or verbiage. We don't use those words or verbiage to protect the host of the channel and to protect our community at large. Please, please use the words redress of grievances. This will make things a lot easier and be less complicated in any type of um, case law or legal issues that happen. Now getting back to furry potatoes issue, um, and the video will explain everything, but it does show the theft of the property of the Nikon camera on the tripod being taken by a person name unknown for New Beginnings LTD. They said they were calling the cops. Um, Furry asked them to call the cops and eventually while Furry was on live the cops did show up. They went in for a brief amount of time probably 10 minutes or so to discuss the situation with the people inside the building and in return came out with the camera still on the tripod and returned it back to Furry Potato. That was all fine and good. It appeared there was no permanent big damage to the camera, but she'll be looking at it later to, when she files a complaint. But in uh, the interaction with the uh, LAPD, it was quite disturbing to hear, and I'm going to play part of it um, just so that you guys can hear what happened it was it was if it wasn't so comical it would be uh, you wouldn't even know it so I am gonna play the audio portion of it and I would encourage you to go to the video portion of it this is the part where furry is trying to get clarification on why no one inside the building, specifically the person who stole her her equipment, um, no charges or even a report was filed. Custody, or to take a report, do we have to prove the intent that you had intended to permanently deprive you of your camera? Now, it looked here like you guys had some sort of dispute. The there was guy, no dispute. He came out here, asked me what I was guy, doing, and took my... The guy came out and asked you something. You dropped an F-bomb on him. What know. does that mean? He didn't... What is that? Well, it's free murder. speech. Okay. But when two people are trying to talk, trying to figure something out, and your immediate reaction is to cuss at them, don't be surprised if they don't have a very nice response to you. Okay, so you're not going to do anything. I need your name and your right, serial number. It all to you. Anyways, so he took the camera. Everybody. He's waiting for you or waiting for us to come. Yeah, he's waiting for you, not for me. Okay, he's waiting for us to come. You weren't going anywhere. I, I'll give you all of this stuff. See this, everyone? So, so that's where we're at. Wiggling out. Wiggling out of writing a report, everybody. Okay. That's fine. I mean, it's another claim for damages. Like I'm cool with that. It has to be the intent to permanently deprive, which he did not. Okay. Now, this Sergeant Martinez um, is badge number 33929. The Mission County Police Station in Mission Hills, California. Phone number is 818-838-9800. If you want to file or, or speak to someone regarding redress of grievance, that would be the phone number to call. And Sergeant Martinez would be the person that you'd be speaking about. And for the sergeant to state that he, the person who stole the property, had no intent to permanently deprive Furry of her property is, to be blunt, bullpucky. Um, this has opened a whole can of worms, in my opinion. And that means that, you know, I can go up to my neighbor's house and I can uh, 
deprive them of their 60 inch color TV because I want to watch the Super Bowl but I have the intent of returning the TV after the football game is done that's one example and I'm sure that the viewers and other people watching this can think of many other instant instances I would encourage you to watch the video um, she has put up New Beginnings LTD Part 1. There's probably going to be a Part 2. She did go down and file a complaint with the LAPD. In my opinion, um, they were accommodating enough to let her video and audio tape the interaction and the report she submitted. But basically, they just said, well, we don't have all the facts and, and uh, you know, um, there was no report written because um, there was no intent to permanently keep the property and it's going to get bumped up to IA. People, people, this is a First Amendment right that we have that photography in public is not a crime. Furry never left and documented that she never left the public sidewalk or the area where the water cover was, where she set the tripod up. So there was no reason for this person to go out there and take the camera. The only reason, according to Sergeant Martinez, was that the person Furry had the interaction with felt disrespected because an F-bomb was dropped and that justified removal and theft of personal property. Um, who knows, you know, if the police hadn't shown up, Furry would never have seen that camera or tripod again, in my opinion. The only reason the property was returned was because the LAPD was called, showed up, and retrieved the equipment. We cannot let this go. We need to voice, have our voice and put our voice out there that this is not acceptable. This goes against the First Amendment and case law and common law that we cannot be treated and will not be treated like this. And we want to let LAPD Mission Division know about that. So again, if you want to do a redress of grievances and contact them in person, by mail, or by phone with your redress, which is you asking for a remedy, you're asking to help them, to have them help solve a problem that has occurred and it continues occurring in your opinion. If you choose to make your redress of grievances by phone, please, I ask you to keep it respectful, no threats, no threats of violence, and no hate speech. We're better than that. We can get our information across intelligently and clearly without having to resort to threats or other other words. So um, I hope this helped um, explain redress of grievances and the importance of the correct usage of the words we use when we're asking for help or we we're requesting the community to take action. Again, redress of grievances. It's our U.S. Constitution Amendment 1. It's written there and it's for our use. If we don't use our rights, we may lose our rights. So please um, remember that. And again, I will post the link to Furry Potatoes video of New Beginnings LTD Part 1 and go and subscribe to her, ring the bell so you can see more things. She does a lot of great 
footage and First Amendment audits and cop watching and she follows through and it's just not a, a one-off. Um, she's around here for the long term, has been around and um, I think she's worth watching and, and getting notifications and whenever possible go over there at least uh, you know subscribe to her leave a comment hit the like button and um, I just wanted to say thank you everybody and I will be making a redress of grievance to the LAPD mission department or mission community police station um, with my concerns and my redress of grievances for this particular incident and how this can snowball and really really um, it isn't right and we have a right to to express such concerns so thank you for stopping by hit the like button leave comments if they're hate speech or they're threatening they will be deleted thank you very much have a great day